Hey, good afternoon. We're sitting out here uh, checking some trail cameras. I want to introduce you to a uh, product that we've been using um, here the last uh, five months, and that's the uh, Cuddy Back Cuddy Link cameras. Um, the setup that we have is we've got the uh, bigger home camera, um, and then that's the one that's got the one actual cell phone plan, and then I've actually got 15 other of these cameras uh, placed out uh, throughout, um, uh, well, I think we're sitting right about a 1,200 acre uh, range here. Um, but I've got a lot of territory covered uh, with one cell phone plan with these cameras. Um, one thing I did do a study on is the uh, batteries. Um, you know, the they uh, they say that you want to use lithium batteries um, on these cameras. Uh, so I tried those lithium batteries on uh, four of them. Um, and those those cameras are uh, averaging about 84 to 86 days um, on each each set of batteries, and we're sitting here uh, starting um, all the way back in November, and then all the way up to uh, you know here almost at the first of uh, February. Um, so it's been a pretty good deal there uh, with those lithium batteries. But I also tried out the uh, just standard Energizer batteries. Um, the double A's there, as well as the Rayovax. Um, and then, so the lithium batteries, again, I was averaging 84. Uh, and those things, if you buy them in bulk, they're about a dollar and 30 cents a piece. Uh, and that's the cheapest I could find them online. And that's buying 500 of them at a time. Um, and then your uh, standard, uh, just your regular Energizer uh, batteries, they'll run about 30, 30 cents a piece. And those uh, batteries actually uh, ran between uh, 43 and 45 days uh, on those cameras. And then the Rayovax were averaging about 42 to 43. And then they were about 20, 28 cents a piece um, if you were to buy them in bulk. So overall, what I came up with on the battery aspect of it um, was you're better off if you uh, are able to make, make a, a trip up to your uh, hunting location you know, every month or so, um, and change those batteries out, uh, then I would definitely go with your Rayovac or Energizer, um, just your standard uh, AA batteries. But if you do have a remote location, you know, that you're not able to get to but every uh, two or three months, um, then I'd highly recommend, you know, going with the lithium batteries. Uh, so those are the two scenarios I came up with that I think that will work very well for, uh, you know, these cameras. I can't say enough of them about these cameras. They, uh, what they do is they take a, uh, they've got a setting on there where you can take a five or a 20 megapixel setting there. Um, and I have these, all these cameras set to 20 megapixels. So what happens is, is the uh, five, the 20 megapixel picture gets taken, but when it's sent to my phone, um, either through text message or email, or you can actually do both of them. Um, and that's what I've got uh, going on. Um, is just go ahead and send them on both. That way I can check it on uh, my iPad as well as my Android phone here. Um, but that works out r really well. Uh, but what you can do is if you have the thing set up on 20 megapixel pictures, then as soon as you come into your hunting location and you're checking your camera, camera card, you can still uh, go ahead and download that image um, you know, onto your phone. Uh, you know, if you got an SD card reader, um, and that works out really well at the 20 megapixel. So, um, you know, when the uh, main uh, camera reader or the uh, SD card reader we're using is uh, Bone View, and those things are some awesome products. I'm, I'm able to take a video as well as uh, uh, pictures down from, uh, you know, not only these cameras, but any other, the like my Brownies that I run as well. Um, but these cameras are, are awesome. I think for the money, you are definitely better off going down this direction. Uh, if you're wanting to have multiple cameras, um, these guys will run about 200 bucks a piece um, with just your main one. And then I believe the uh, home camera was, uh, I think it was at $400. And that's the one, again, the one that's got your cell phone plan. And then you can get these at 200 bucks a piece unless you start buying packages of four. And I believe I found those for about seven, 750 bucks for a pack of four. So it saves you 50 bucks, you know, for going down that direction. But if you're buying, you know, multiple sets, uh, it can save you quite a bit of money pretty quick. So, you know, these are, these are awesome cameras. Uh, I definitely recommend going with these if you're looking for a remote cell phone camera. Um, you know, I use these uh, for all kinds of reasons, you know, whether I'm checking, um, 
you know, my, just my trail cameras on my, uh, over my food pots or, you know, just kind of see, uh, like my, even my cattle pat patterns, you know, of our, our cattle out here, just kind of check on them, make sure, you know, they're, they're good to go. Cause you know, you can't, can't see, uh, you know, everything there. So, um, I would highly recommend, uh, rolling with these Cuddy Link, uh, cameras by uh, Cuddy back, um, after reviewing, you know, for the three or four uh, months that I've used them, they've got a two year warranty on these cameras. So, um, you know, I think it's a pretty good deal uh, for anybody that's looking into getting this, some uh, cellular trail cameras. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and look forward to uh, your 2019-2020 season.